Hi, I'm District 32 Director Kyle Hall. Yesterday, uh, my wife and I were driving somewhere and I was telling her about the video blog that I was planning on recording this morning. And I was telling her about how I was gonna try to talk to clubs about the need to build membership. And I wanna say my wife chastised me, but maybe I should say instead, she reminded me with enthusiasm and with emotion about the time when she and I were club officers together. And we were in a club that we had started and the club was slowly, slowly dying. It was dying by attrition. She reminded me of how frustrated we were and how tired we were and how we we were, you know, nothing we worked, nothing we tried seemed to work to grow membership. And if a district officer had come and talked to us about membership at that time, we would have slapped them silly. <sighs> so she made me think, darn it, I hate it when she does that. And she said something else during that point because she she she, she was expressing her frustration. And she said, you district officers are always talking to us about membership. Why are you so focused on membership? So let me answer that question first. Why are we always focused on membership? Well, across the United States, membership is the single biggest issue in Toastmaster clubs. But let's just deal with District 32. In District 32, 50% of our clubs, 47 clubs, 50%, have membership at 12 or less. Now that means those clubs could dry up and blow away like that. If you think I'm kidding, there's a club last year that lost 12 members in three months and and they were they were and they still had 15 or 18 members left when they were done. So they weren't they weren't ready to blow away, but they lost 12 members in the three month period. So a club that's down at that level can dry up and blow away in a month. And we have, we, have other, we have a lot of clubs that are limping along at eight members and nine members. And when, you have met, when your membership is that low, you always have to have a role in a meeting, sometimes multiple roles. And meetings become tiring and you get meeting fatigue. And meetings, going to a meeting should be joyous and should, be, and should leave, leave you feeling energized, not exhausted. So, that's why the district is focused on membership. We want everyone's club to be happy, healthy, and successful. Healthy in that sense means a good membership and new members coming in. We want everyone's club to be happy, healthy, and vibrant. That means membership. Okay, so that's, that's why I, as a district director, am heavily focused on membership, but why I'm going to talk to you about it a lot. But let's talk about the other side of things. So you're a district director, I'm sorry, you know, you're, just, you're a club officer. You're a club officer and you're tired because you've tried to grow membership. And maybe it's worked a little or maybe it hasn't worked at all. Your club is limping along. You have that meeting fatigue. You're tired. You, have, you don't have the enthusiasm for the program that you used to. How can you possibly sell Toastmasters without that enthusiasm? Where do you find that enthusiasm again? Well, I was thinking about myself and my own journey. And when I was sitting in the car yesterday being chastised, I mean being corrected with uh, or reminded with energy and enthusiasm by my wife, uh, as you might imagine, I felt a little frustration at the message she was giving me. But I learned a long time ago that the emotions of the moment hide and bury the deeper, more important, more permanent emotions. So I knew that my frustration of the moment is nothing compared to the deep and abiding love I feel for my wife. I just have to remember that sometimes. <laughs> well, the same is true for Toastmasters. As a club officer, I have felt frustrated with my club members. I felt frustrated with our, with our efforts to build a club. But I have to remember, underneath that is what the program has given me. Underneath that is my gratitude for how I've grown. So here's what we need to do. If, if we're exhausted, if we're tired, if we've lost our enthusiasm, if we need to re rediscover our enthusiasm, we need to remember. We need to take the time to remember what will be like before we join Toastmasters. What have we learned in the program? What have we tried? 
whether it worked or not, what have we had the courage to try since we joined the program? What friends have we made? Who have we made connections with? How have we grown? Did we get a promotion? Did we change a job? Did, has it helped us in any way? We have to sit and remember and purposely pull these things up out of, our, out of the back of our minds and put them in the forefront of our minds. Because if we remember all the things we've learned from this wonderful program, we will rediscover our own enthusiasm. And to put it in the terms of, uh, that I've used before, I've talked about a club having a wow. Well, we can have a personal wow. And if we can rediscover our personal wow, what has this program done in my life? If we can rediscover that and remember that, then we're ready to go out and talk to somebody and share the gift of Toastmasters again. And we're ready to maybe ask them to come and check out our club, not for our benefit, but for their benefit, because we want to share the gift with them. And they see the gift, and they want it, and we offer it to them, and they join, and our membership goes up, and we have a healthy club to go along with a happy and a vibrant club. Good luck to you this week.